Hey, howdy, what's going on guys? It's your boy, welcome back to another video. So I'm gonna be really, really quick and fast in this video because I had a thought and I really just wanted to go ahead and record it and tell everybody about this thought that I have, this theory that I potentially have, and um, just get it out there because if it happens, I want a visual proof that I had it correct before the episode actually came out. So I'm talking about Loki season two, episode two again. I am already sorry, I already made a video about it that was 17 minutes long and I'm talking about it again and I'm gonna be kind of reiterating a lot of the same things that I've already talked about. So if you've already seen that video and you wanna skip this video, I will feel totally a-okay. I'm not going to be offended at all. I'll be a little offended, but that's okay. Anyways, so today I want to talk about pretty much the same thing that was the main topic of the last video, but I kind of have like had a lot more thoughts about it. I've had a lot more time to let the brain thoughts linger. Um, So we're going to get dive right into this. So right off the bat, I'm sorry, I have a lot of energy and I'm talking really, really fast. Um, I could not sleep at all last night. So today at work, I was running off of um, a couple shots of espresso, a couple of energy drinks and a dream. And I had a lot of thoughts that were kind of all over the place, but the specific ones that I kept getting for Loki season two, episode two, was about X5. And how I think he knows a lot more than he's letting off. And I think that obviously, you know, some of the stuff with him being Brad Wolf and him being like an actor and stuff like that seems so far out of left wing. And start, part of me is like, maybe I'm overanalyzing this for thinking about the fact that that part of the show probably was either like a rewrite something or something what ha that happened where they were just like, okay, we just want this thing to happen. We're not gonna worry too much about how it happens. We're just gonna go ahead and do it. And I liked it. I think that it worked. I think it was really interesting. I liked the way that they started off with the cold open right immediately. They were out in the field and they were doing work just like how season one was. But something about it felt really off. Last time we saw X5, he was kind of being a dick. He didn't really care about his actual life on the timeline, but all of a sudden he is. And it's really weird because he seems to be really proud of himself, really full of himself. He seems like one of the coolest hunters and he thinks that he's to totally hot shit. And he seems to be like thinking really highly of himself. He thinks that he's above other people in the TVA. And, um, I think that it's a little interesting that somebody who thinks that highly of themselves and somebody who clearly cares a lot about his ranking and stuff like that in the TVA would go off a mission a lot and to the point where he literally went on to try to become his own life on the sacred timeline after basically saying that he doesn't give a shit about what's going on in the sacred timeline. Like his character did a full 180 off screen and I want to try to kind of decipher what could have potentially happened there. So um, there's a couple possibilities. For one, um, and I think he was definitely a diversion of some kind. I think without a shadow of a doubt, either he was just a diversion for the people who are bombing the sacred timeline. They just wanted Brad Wolf to be out there and for him to be somebody to kind of draw their attention away from what they're doing for long enough time. And obviously they kind of address that in the show because once they realize what's happening, they realize that they're a little late and they kind of blame Brad Wolf for it. But I also think it's really interesting that he did a full character shift and he was willing to go that far deep undercover as pretending to be himself in the regular timeline that he probably either killed his regular self so that he could you know take his place and like he became a full-on actor like that changed so much about his personality um he's very snarky the way that he goes against mobius the way that he goes against hunter b15 is really interesting to me because he seems to be insanely loyal to the tba but not the current tba but the old tba and i'm kind of wondering if he is like a friend of ours a character who we are currently learning to love ob who doesn't have his mind wiped. He uh, knows about some of the stuff that's happened. The last time that there was a really, really bad like thing with the timeline, seeming like it was going to crumble and there was an ungodly amount of branches. He was there for that. He experienced it. He remembers everything about it. I'm wondering if X5 is kind of the same deal, right? Because in my opinion, he seems to know a little bit more about some of the other people. And I feel like something that he kind of was using again to Mobius's head was the fact that he has a life on the sacred timeline and the fact that Mobius has no idea what the, his life on the sacred timeline is. He doesn't know anything about it. And I feel like Brad Wolf was really trying to get under his skin with that. And I feel like Brad Wolf seems to have a, a level of awareness that seems to be a little bit above theirs. So I have a theory that Brad Wolf is secretly working for whoever the big bad of this season is. Um, whether it's a variant of King, whether it's a variant of He Who Remains, if it's Ravona Renslayer, which if she's the villain of this uh, season, I'm going to be severely disappointed because I was really hoping that she would come back and she'd be kind of like a, another like protagonist, kind of like how last year it was Loki and Sylvia. I was expecting it to be this year, Loki and kind of Ravona Renslayer on the two halves of the different, like this person's kind of good, this one's morally gray or whatever. And they're both kind of good in their own way, but not really. Um, but yeah, we have, still at this point have no idea who the villain is. We still have no idea what this season is fully working towards. And I think that um, stuff with Brad Wolf and who he is technically working for and who he is loyal to might really come into factor with all of that. So I just wanted to go out here and say that um, I think that Brad Wolf um, knows 
a lot more than Mobius, and I feel like he has not been mind wiped. I feel like he's going to be a real to be like OB, where he remembers things and he can kind of have a general sense of like, oh yeah, things have been around for like 400 years, and like this is a thing that's been happening, and this is something. And um, I feel like he's going to be a very key role in figuring out who the villain is. I feel like there's probably going to be more scenes later in the season where they probably interrogate him because they seem to find like a soft spot where how they can like get information out of him. And I feel like they're definitely going to go ahead and probably try it again at another point to try to get more information out of him. And I don't know, I feel like with Miss Minutes currently being gone and the people who are currently like running the TVA not really being much help, that he might be the first lead that they have and that he might be able to help them lead what he might be, what helps them lead, what helps lead them to Victor Timely. But yeah. That's just a little bit of a theory. Um, I know that video was really, really short all over the place and I was talking a lot really, really fast and I'm incredibly sorry about that, but I didn't have all, time, all the time in the world to record that video like I typically would. Um, but that being said, I love and appreciate you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you liked it, feel free to like and subscribe and I will hopefully see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Pow, pow, pow. I don't have time to edit it, so pretend this is a proper outro. Bum 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 bum